hello once more dear and wonderful zine friends welcome back to happy mail monday if you're new here if you are new here <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> welcome i am silver nix i'm your resident zine enthusiast hanging out in rural australia uh stumbling over my words frequently and showing you the amazing mail that has landed in my post box and it's usually in my post box over the past week but it's been a while i'm i'm kind of like behind in a way because i meant to do more last week but my energy kind of boom hit a wall <laughs> so i didn't do as much mail last week as i wanted to in happy mail monday but here we are and as I'm filming this, I don't know how long it'll be of a video, but I'm guessing it'll be another long video. So settle in. I have some mail to send. Send? <laughs> mail to share with you. Oh my goodness. Like, I think I should have grabbed a coffee before I started this. <sighs> and the zine cat has made an appearance. Do you want to say hi? Oh, baby. This is Zine Cat Asimov, if you have not seen him before. Uh, commander of all the armies of darkness and general mischief maker. Hmm? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we do not want to purr on camera today. Anyway, so. <laughs> general chaos, as per usual. And pardon me for that. That was a cough, not a sneeze. But yeah, anyway. Woo, chaos. So yeah, as I mentioned uh, last week, I kind of like, boom, hit a wall. And the video was already an hour and everything. So I was just like, wow. But it turned out <laughs> that my body was trying to tell me something. And yeah, I felt kind of, woo. And then I felt the same way on Tuesday. And I had to push it to get to a specialist appointment on Wednesday. And then I was just out of commission. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, my goodness my goodness like uh, i sometimes i tell people oh i you know i yeah i had to sleep for days yeah i slept for like well i didn't sleep but anyway but like thursday and friday slept and people will be like oh i wish i could sleep for two days and i'm like not quite you wish you had the option to sleep for two days you do not wish that you had to. Your body forced you to sleep for two days. <laughs> oh, and it was fun, like not funny, haha, but it was funny timing too, because it's um, myalgic encephalomyelitis. I probably said that wrong, but me. It's it was me awareness day recently, and yeah, mine decided to just. <laughs> Anyway, rambles, rambles, rambles. Uh, thank you as always for all of the understanding. Let's just get to the mail. I think we should just dive right in. I'm so excited. This week we have three bits of mail from completely new zine friends, uh, never traded before. And I am so excited because um, I'm not sure who this is from, but with these two, they both uh, recently messaged me and said that their uh, zines from me had arrived. So that's, I always go, whew, because I sent out so many zines and it's kind of weird. I must've hit a weird spot or something with the the mail or whatnot, because like some arrived straight away, but some are taking forever and it's not dependent on location. Like I've some arrived in the States really quickly and some are have just arrived in the States or Canada or, it's so weird. Anyway, what even is time? <laughs> so yes, welcome to Happy Mail Monday. Let's dive in and we will dive in from with this one. Mystery one. I don't think this was a trade. Wombat Wisdoms. I like wombats. They're the ones, they're the, or is that echidnas? No, it's wombats. It's wombats that do square poos. <laughs> They do, well, not square cubes, because, you know, we live in three dimensions. But yeah. <laughs> so that's really cute. I like wombats. But you might think, being a wombat, um, this might be from Australia, but it's actually from the US of A. So let's dive in. And I do like a bit of alliteration too. So, wombat wisdom. 
is also appreciated. Let us see. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we have zines. Do we have a note? Do we have a note? Okay, so first of all, I just want to say if we talked about you sending things and I am not like remembering the name, I am so sorry. My brain is that of a goldfish. Um, a goldfish probably has has it on me to be honest um but yeah <laughs> all right so we do not have a note we always check for a note because we love notes no note left behind anyway <laughs> we have some lovely looking zines here oh my goodness all right so whew. okay okay, okay. <laughs> diving right into it i'm so excited all right so we have ooh, five zines okay okay cool okay so buy wombat wisdoms I will have to see. Uh, so the ha the at sign is just Wombat Wisdom. So I'm going to see uh, whether they have um, uh, Instagram and all that printed locally. All right, a zine of love by Wombat Wisdoms. Love is solidarity. Oh, how cute are those? I think they're all little pants. <laughs> uh, Love is community. I like that too. I was a weirdo in high school. I mean, I was a weirdo in high school. But I was someone in high school who would always like, let's put our shoes together. I was always taking pictures of feet. I don't have a foot fetish. I like, naked feet. No, thank you. But yeah, I was always putting shoes together. So that's a random tangent for you. Love is existence is resistance. Aww. So I did show you the whole thing. I won't show you the whole thing for all of them, but this is just so pretty. I like all the colors. That's so cute. It's not gonna focus properly, is it? And now I can't see. Anyway, oh, I, I'm wondering, like I do this on my phone and I'm wondering if I should get like a save up and get like a proper camera with a flip screen and so I could do other things. But anyway, I'm so sorry for all the random tangents. A zine of love. That's so cute. So cute and so sweet. And I like the art. I like all the colors and everything like that. So cute. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> Next up we have Sea Spiders. A proboscis pal zine by Wombat Wisdom. Wisdoms. Pardon me. Ooh. I'm one of many other proboscis pals. Ooh, sea spiders, but let's see. We'll get to the sea spider first. I'm a sea spider. I'm not actually a spider, but I pretend to be. Isn't my disguise awesome? Fancy disguise. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Fancy disguise. I'm actually a marine arthropod related to crabs and spiders, but I'm doing my own thing. You do you, sea spider boo. I live in all of the oceans and there are about 1,500 species of me. I'm the largest at the poles, which is a part of a phenomenon called polar gigantism. Oh, 20% of sea spiders live in Antarctica. Burr. <laughs> I love this. I love this. This is so cute. This is like... Oh. Like somebody's journal, like you have the, the drawing and you had the facts and then you have the little notes pointing to things. I, I just love this style. I feel like I'm discovering little secrets when I read the little notes and things like that. It just adds something. I just adore it. Oh my goodness. So like I said, I won't show you the whole thing because there's no, like if you want me to show, if you send something and you want me to show like the whole thing, like let me know in the note. Maybe I can make it like, anyway, let me know. <laughs> But the sea spider is one of many proboscis pals we have. Which others can you name? Elephant, bumblebee, anteater. And the elephant is asking, should this be a series? I think it should be. Like, I would like some more facts on the anteater, please. And bumblebees kind of scare me a little bit. Um, but I am mildly allergic to them. But I also know that they're very lovely in a lot of ways. So anyway, <laughs> be solidarity. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. Sea spiders. I love this. This reminds me of um, 
Oh my goodness, this reminds me of so many mini, many mini zines. Blah, blah, blah. Say that three times fast. This reminds me of so many mini zines recently where, um, and Cicada 2024, um, from, I'll put their link in the bits and bobs, but this learning stuff, learning stuff. Like I would have not thought to go out and learn some stuff about sea spiders, but I feel better for having Ha now knowing more about sea spiders and I will learn even more once I read the entire zine. That's so cool Sea spiders They're not even spiders <laughs> Next up we have it's a sleeping bag caterpillar kind of weekend. Oof my goodness I didn't even have sleeping bag caterpillar kind of weekend. I, it was more just I I, I Glad I landed in my bed when I fell unconscious <laughs> Oh, see, I just, it's a, it's a distinct style and I like the colors and oof, I'm saying that a lot. I'm repeating that a lot. Please forgive me. Let's pay rent and then go to sleep in an expensive fabric structure. <laughs> I've never been camping. Not like, I mean, camping in the backyard. That's not quite camping. But yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the trail, I have to show you this because look at that color, time to pee tee. <laughs> oh my goodness, doesn't that put a different vi a view on uh, rain? It's clouds, clouds deciding to pee. <laughs> oh yes, I amuse myself. <sighs> oh cool, cool, cool. And again, I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I think you should check them out yourself. Next up, we have Queerness with Bell Hooks, a zine by Wombat Wisdoms. Ooh, Words of the Brilliant Bell Hooks, 1952 to 2021. Oh, oh, Bell Hooks is a person, okay. Queer is not as being about who you're having sex with. That can be a dimension of it. Then we have these beautiful, again, with the colors and the... Just the way they're done in the art style. I like it. I like it a lot. But queer as being about the self that is at odds with everything around it. This is gonna be, I'm gonna show you the whole thing. <laughs> so pretty. And that has to invent and create and find a place to speak and to thrive and to live. So pretty. Reminds me of like um, stained glass windows. So pretty. Oh my goodness. So cute. These are also lovely. And last but never least, Marmot Thoughts from the Trail. Ooh. <laughs> Ew, people. <laughs> ah. Ooh, bipeds eating. <laughs> I like that. Reverse the roles. <laughs> the animals view us as we're eating and going about our lives. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and I will save a page so you can check it out yourself. But that's so cute. I like the sense of humor. It's just simple, simple silliness, and I like it. Thank you so much to Wombat Wisdoms for sending that along. Oh my goodness. I don't think we connected on Instagram or anything like that, but um, I will double check my messages just to make sure. But thank you so much. Those are so, so cute. And, then, and it's lovely to make a new zine friend. So hello, new zine friend. <laughs> thank you for sending all of those my way. They really are adorable. And the, like the art style, mm, just love it, love it, love it. Thank you so very much for sending those my way. And yeah, if you're interested um, in getting some of those zines yourself or checking out more of Wombat Wisdom's creations, the bits and bobs will have all the details. <laughs> Next up, we have mail from Midnight Zines. And I'm really hoping I've got that right because I'm always a little bit, even when I think I know, remember, I'm like, oh, what if I remember it? But anyway, <laughs> new zine friend on Instagram. And look at this. Look at how pretty this is. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Tell me where you get your uh, white gel pen or is it a paint pen? I don't know. 
beautiful. Look at all those beautiful stamps. Oh, and look on the back, and it's in a purple envelope, and purple is my favorite color. Oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm already so happy. And I'm dragonfly. Oh my goodness. So we connected on um, Instagram and arranged, and they arranged a trade. Well, we arranged a trade. I was participator, participator. <laughs> I did participate in the making of the trade plans. Anyway, <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't find a, I can't find an inn, Captain. <laughs> there we go, there we go. We have found purchase. We can get in. The treasure is ours. <laughs> so this comes all the way from Belgium. Oh, New Zealand friend. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we have in the envelope here, but then we have, oh, goodness, what's going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was so confused. But the, um, there's a bag inside sticking to the envelope. So let's see what's happening here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so we had oh, this is cool. Oh Okay, sorry. I was confused a bit, but it has this like inner liner and I thought it was a bag So I was trying to take it out, but yeah, don't mind me. I'm easily confused <laughs> anyway. So yes, yay. Oh my okay. Sorry. Yes midnight zines midnight zines we have some zines, we have some goodness, and I shall share it all with you. And we have a note. And look at this. Oh, that's so cool. I would love to get some letter stamps like that, that are like typewriter ones. So cool. All right. Hey, Silver Nix. Hello, Midnight Zines. <laughs> Hope my zines made it safely all the way down to Australia. They did. It just took me for ages to be like, have my health in order. <laughs> wow, that's quite a journey from my little country. <laughs> Thanks so much for the trade. It's fantastic discovering other zine creators work and making new pen pals this way. I really appreciate it and look forward to future trades if you want to. Absolutely. <laughs> it's awesome to see how involved you are in the zine world. You're passionate your passion definitely comes through in your posts and your videos. Your background gives me so me so much good vibes by the way and it's inspiring to see for others oh my goodness yeah the wall of awesome and the wall of awesome has nothing to do with me other than the putting up of it but um like i assembled it and it's all on the wall but that is all of you that things from all of you so <laughs> this is the community <laughs> i'm just sitting here opening mail the community there you go. <laughs> I've included a mix of different things in this envelope, hoping you'll enjoy them. I can't wait to receive your package and dive into your world. Happy reading. Take care, Alex. Well, hello again. It is lovely to make a new zine friend. As I've already mentioned, I'm so happy. I'm glad we were able to connect. Like that's, that's my goal. Like I want to connect with people too, but like people connecting with other people and discovering the zines and everything like that. That's that's a big part of why I do what I do. Like, just, we can all find each other and it'll be like, hey, yeah, this, this <laughs> Sorry about that, something fell. Um, this crazy lady in Australia loves zines and yeah. <laughs> so, we have, let's see, oh, cool. Okay, DIY per zines. Oh, this is, oh, this is a very nice looking flyer. I like it, but you can see um, DIY, etc., etc. I'm sorry for it not focusing very well. And then you can see if you're interested in trades. That is a very cool looking flyer. I like it. Again, it it is it's brilliant here. It's just my phone camera doesn't focus very well. So, ooh, that's so neat. Oh my goodness, I love it. All the little touches, like all the gorgeous stamps like a, an envelope lining hello that's cool and then we have the um the wax seal which is awesome 
and then just like the type and it, ah i am excited <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love it. I just said I'm excited and then we have a, um, a thing here that says keep calm. Keep calm and finish zines. That's really what I need to do. I have so many zines started. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, I'd like, this needs to be somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where yet, but that needs to be on the wall of awesome because that's very I need it. <laughs> All right, and first up with the zine, goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not like one page folded. This is like a, a little actually cut booklet. My goodness, it's been a while. It has been a while since I've seen a mini made like this. They're usually one page folded. I love one page folded. I love all the zines. But yeah, I was just pointing out. <laughs> Moon Garden, ooh. I love cherry blossom season. <gasps> Me too. I love cherry blossoms. I even have some tattooed on my back. <laughs> Every year I try to take a moment to appreciate the beautiful flowers. This is so important to me that I like to take a day on the weekend to go where there's loads of it to enjoy them. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh my goodness. I don't know where there'd be any cherry blossoms around here, but I'm going to find out now because that sounds like a great sort of a ritual tradition. Oh. Last year we went to a park in my city that has a famous arch covered in cherry blossoms on both sides. I might have gotten a little carried away and imagined it as a whole flower cathedral. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, it was beautiful, but I think I was really picturing a magical flower tunnel experience. Oh, that's so sweet! Oh my goodness. I love this. This is so cool. It's very like it's it's not your standard um GSM. It's definitely a bit thicker. <laughs> and I love that like that it's kind of um what am I thinking of? It's kind of a wispy, ghosty, but not ghosty scary, just kind of a um fairy like oh it reminds me of those um the girls with the fairies <laughs> old pictures. <laughs> Yeah, just like, oh, that's so cool. And I love that it's pink too, of course, cherry blossoms. But like, oh my goodness. I love this design. I just want to sit and read the whole thing right now. Oh. For years, I've dreamt of celebrating the cherry blossoms with a traditional Hanami picnic. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful Japanese custom where people gather under the blooms to enjoy their fleeting beauty. Oh my goodness. I love cherry blossoms. I love the symbolism of, of them. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I didn't know that the Hanami picnic was a thing, but now I want to do it. Like <laughs> someday when I win the lottery, I will go to Japan during cherry blossom season and it'll be amazing. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay. So I don't want to show you the whole thing because I think again, I like to encourage people to like make connections and be like, oh, I like that one or whatever you want to do. But I have to show you this because I love those. Look at the little tree spirit. Oh my goodness. You see them in a lot of Studio Ghibli, like uh, definitely Spirited Away. Oh wait. Um, yeah, they're in Spirited Away. But I was thinking of Princess Mononoke because you see lots of them, but they're so cute. Oh my goodness. And I just love that you drew them and included them in here. So friggin' cute. Oh my goodness, can you tell I'm in love? I mean, I love cherry blossoms. I love, ah, uh, all of it, all of it. <laughs> and then we, <sighs> my goodness me. <laughs> and then we have Chaotic Baby. Ooh, and it's kind of this, yeah, Victorian. Mmm, interesting. Oh, this one comes with a sticker. Zine baby. Oh, I have to keep this one. This one's for me. <laughs> this will go on my cover along with, um, I have a, a cover where I just, I have, I collect all the stickers for the year. Uh, at least one of all the stickers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. So this is Persian. Look at 
this is a little baby Perzine. Oh, cute. Oh my goodness. I mean, one of my mm, chef's kiss kind of zines is like an A6 chunky monkey Perzine, but this is cute. You definitely top in the list there too. Oh, hey you, hello. <laughs> I'm Alex, the zine maker. No shit. <laughs> I love it too. And these videos, as like bouncy and bright as they, they might seem, are not meant for kids. There is swearing. Anyway. <laughs> and I didn't say that. That's right there. See? I'm Alex, a zine maker. No shit. <laughs> and this is my first Perzine. Sorry, I just need to take a moment. I wonder if there's anybody out there who who's like, did she just really say no shit? <laughs> Sorry. All right. <clears throat> I'll start over. Hey you, I'm Alex, zine maker. No shit, and this is my first purzine. Oh, congratulations on your first purzine. Yay! Up until now, I've mostly made fanzines. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, anyone? Nice. The following pages are a mix of daily thoughts and witchy feelings, you could say. I'm excited to share this project with you. You can find me here on Instagram. Oh, and of course, bits and bobs. And yeah, check out the bits and bobs. It's always full of goodness. Oh my goodness, a look like an A6 Persian. I'm just, I'm in love. Oh, <laughs> I, am, I love it. Anxiety dump here because why not? Oh, so anxiety dump. And then like, look at this introductory page. I love the like photo booth series of photos. That's so cute, I want. <laughs> I need to make zines now. <laughs> no matter what I do, printing articles as proof or explaining it a hundred times, you know, like chronic means chronic. It feels like I'm talking to a brick. Oh, <laughs> oh I skipped ahead. A letter. The mail brought a surprise from my mom today. A postcard with a picture of a grumpy panda saying, miss you. It made me smile a bit. I've been putting off visiting for a while. Dad's comments about my chronic illness have been brutal lately. Four years ago, I got diagnosed with a recurrent gut disease and he just won't let go of the idea of somehow it's my fault and refused to understand that there's nothing that can be done about it. Oh my goodness. I get that. I totally get that. Oh, I have been sick all of my life. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much all of my life. Um, in and out of hospitals when I was a baby. Um, yeah. And it sucks so much when people just refuse to understand. Like, it's your fault, or you're faking, or you're lying, or have you tried um, this new vitamin thing that I saw on telly, or whatever. You know, it's, it's just like... <laughs> Why would I choose this? So, anyway. <laughs> so there, I don't, I'm not chuckling. I'm just, I'm chuckling at my own anger because I could rant about this all the time. And I'm sending you, if you like hugs, if you don't like hugs, it's okay. But if you like hugs, big virtual hugs. Um, yeah, it, it sucks when strangers or acquaintances don't understand. But when it's people who are automatically in that closer sphere to you it's just uh. anyway I feel for you big time oh my goodness me this is just so brilliant like it's so small it's so small but there's like these little cut and paste things and it's typewritten and there's little like washi strips I am just I adore this so very much Oh my goodness, I adore this so much and it makes me want to just drop everything and make a zine right now. So oh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, so that, my dear and wonderful friends, is goodness from Midnight Zines. Definitely check out the bits and bobs like, hello new zine friend, I'm so glad that we connected and your zines are fantastic, amazing, beautiful. Like. <laughs> I am looking forward to a long friendship with many zine trades with you. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and last but absolutely not least, we have bum, 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 this cute 
little panda. <laughs> this cute bear. The enemy is a male. Oh, so adorable. This comes from Cat Moth Crow and this is one of those zine trades and like, why haven't we been trading for much longer? Uh, Dana, Dana is an awesome person. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, they have a YouTube channel, and I first found the, the YouTube channel um, with because of a, a dice game. Now, please forgive me, I don't know that uh, the name off the top of my head, but they roll some dice and it helps them decide whether they're reading a zine, making a zine, that sort of thing, the soundtrack, and um, where they they'll do it, I think. I can't remember all of the details, but it makes it made me want to get some dice. I still have to get some dice so I can do a form of that because I want to do it so, so much. I think it's a fantastic idea. It's a great motivation to <laughs> get yourself going, especially if you're having trouble with the motivation. And oh my goodness, they're just awesome. So definitely, like, they, like every time, like, just check out the bits and bobs, please do, because so many amazing people are there. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I like. I feel like this is a long overdue trade, like a long overdue connection. So, <laughs> hi, Dana. <laughs> oh my goodness, me! Look at all the goodness. All right, so check into that. And I'm, I'm absolutely keeping this envelope. How adorable is that? So friggin' cute. <laughs> Does anybody else? Does anyone, does anyone actually breathe with me or is it just kind of funny because like I'm the one getting ex super excited. Oh my goodness. We have notes. Oh, we have notes, but they're like, oh, oh my goodness. I don't know if you're going to be able to, ah. okay. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but there's like kitties. It's like a light print of kitties on there. That's so adorable. Oh, anyway. Howdy, Nix! Howdy! <laughs> Greetings from the Midwestern USA where it is, um, cemetery gray and cloudy and overcast. That's pretty much what it is here today. <laughs> I'm hoping that it rains soon because I just planted the first seeds of my 2024 garden and they could use the water. Ooh! Oh, cool! Did, I, did you get your water? How are your plants doing? I wish I could be a gardener but like I, I have a black thumb I really do anyway so <laughs> what's the weather like in Murray Bridge um, I've never made it down under to Australia but it is on my bucket list so I hope to adventure my way down there eventually well like I said it's it's winter now um, well it technically it's wait let's see January, December December January February March okay so we're in late autumn now it's it'll be winter um in june starts june it's just kind of a rough thing like three months at a time but anyway so it's very today it's kind of a bit windy overcast gray you know it's been a bit here and there so it could be sunny by the time i finish this video but i kind of doubt it looking at it but if you see a patch a little patch of blue but anyway yeah so it's kind of boring weather, at least here in Murray Bridge, um, in winter. <laughs> oh. What is the best time of year to experience peak Australia? Anyways. Oh my goodness. Peak Australia. Um, personally, I'd go for spring, but I also live in Murray Bridge, which is near Adelaide. And there are a lot of jacarandas around and purple is my favorite color and they're blooming and there's purple like all over the streets like someone just went Bleh! and spilled purple all over. it's just great so um I think spring is great and it's not too hot yet so <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you expected me to answer that on video but here we are uh, anyways, on to zines. Thank you so much for uh, trading zines with me. I've sent you Coco Zine, a fanzine I wrote about my cat Coco Bean. Oh, is she one of my purzine? Oh my goodness. This reminds me, yes, I, I do remember that I need to make zines for my for my zoo. They deserve them. A mini, um, so 
sorry, issue one of my purzing. Okay. Love a purzing. A mini Vincent Price uh, fanzine that I made during an episode of Roll for Zine and Hagwitch. A zine about... Oh, Roll for Zine! That's, this, that's the video series that you can check out um, where um, they roll the dice and... Oh, I love it! I need to get some dice! Don't let me forget. I need to get dice. <laughs> and Hagwitch, a zine about my witchcraft practice. Ooh, I also sent a few of the stickers I've designed. I'm so excited. On a completely different note, have you ever considered doing a tour of the... Oh, have you ever considered doing a tour of the art and ephemera collage on the wall behind you in your videos? It looks like there are so many cool zany postcards and they're up there and I would like to get a closer look. I'm pretty sure that I spy Edward something just a lot. Just a s oh, sorry. <laughs> just above the ninja plush. I'm sorry. Okay, so just above the ninja plush, that one and that one. The um, those are two, like that one's my favorite. I don't know why, but it is. But those are both from Nina um, Nina Zina of Echo Publishing, and I'll put her link in the, the bits and bobs. But yeah, I've done. Um, I've done like kind of a sweep over uh, during a zine cave tour, which I should do a new one because I've switched things up, up a bit, but uh, during a zine cave tour, but I've also, after I put up the zine cave wall, um, I did kind of a slow move over, but I could definitely do like a close up of things. That could be, that, yeah, I would love to. And I would love to like show what people are doing and like, I'll, I can't remember probably all the names. And I'm sure some people have even stopped making zines at this point. But yeah, they're all, it, it is such a beautiful, awesome thing because it, it's not me. It's all you, all of you from over the years. And it's just, I used to keep everything. I used to actually film in a different room. Um, and I kept everything in a box, like every sticker, every postcard and everything. And I still have like postcards and envelopes and like where this envelope will go. I do have a box for that just under here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show them somehow. And I thought of making a scrapbook, but again, that was just for me. And I was like, oh, I want, I want to celebrate all of you because you're all awesome. So yeah, um, yes, that's a great idea. I would be more than happy to. Um, it, again, it's one of those things like I, I have a list of requested videos and chronic illness and everything willing, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, goodness sir. Cool. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so much for trading with me and all you do for the zine community. Take care. Oh my goodness. I'm blushing a little bit. <laughs> it is really my pleasure. Like I, it, it's still hard for me to understand that. Like it, it's hard to get through. People say, you know, you do stuff for the zine community. I'm like, but, but I mean, do I really, but <sighs> I'm trying to, uh, say the things to myself that I would say to other people and not be so mean to myself. So anyway, so <laughs> Thank you for trading with me. Oh my goodness. Ooh, let's check this out. Zine inspiration. Ooh. Ooh. Sometimes the hardest part of making a zine is deciding what it will be about. Here are some tools to spark your creativity. Let the fates decide in your decide your direction. Grab some dice and play Roll for Zine, an interactive game where dice rolls decide the type of zine that's read or made. Scan the QR code to download the PDF sheets and get playing. Oh my goodness! You have oh cool! You can just download it. Oh cool! Get inspired by checking out some incredible zines. Visit the Cat, Cat Moth Crow YouTube channel to watch reviews of some of my favorite zines. Scanning the QR code at the right will take you there. Or visit a zine library and dive in. Oh, that's so cool. I need to make copies of this and send them out. <laughs> that's neat. Can't think of a topic for your zine? Don't despair. Find your birth month below and let the corresponding prompt be your guide. Okay, August. 
A zine about your favorite article of clothing and how wearing it makes you feel. Oh my goodness. That'd be a thinker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cool. This is, this is brilliant. Brilliant stuff. I love it. I love it. Alright. <laughs> now we have stickers in a floral pink envelope. Loving it. Oh my goodness. Oh, how cute are you? Adorable. Just adorable. Indoor cat. <laughs> As mom's looking, Asimov has his window box and he's just looking at me like, hmm? Yes. Is it time for you to worship me? <laughs> and then we have, oh, right, scenes, Bill Community. How gorgeous is this? Holographic. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right, Zines Build Community. Brilliant! So cool. That reminds me of something so sweet. Um, in a recent vlog, if you haven't watched it, it's uh, the Wandering Vlog. Um, I talked about, you know, how I can be hard on myself and it's just, and sometimes they think, oh, you know, I I'm hard on myself and it's like, oh, you're just opening mail and um, they were kind enough to write, you're not just opening mail, you're building community and I'm just like, oh. I needed that. So thank you so much. <laughs> and now I have the zines. I love zines. I love how zines can be anything. Look at this. Look at, I mean, <laughs> isn't that just brilliant? That is, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> now that is like, oh. Look at that. Brilliant. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. <laughs> this is my cool cat. Cocoa Bean. I love the name too. That's adorable. Adorable name. <sighs> He's a fluffy, what, a fluffy white rag doll and his fur is dappled with black and brown spots. Big blue eyes, pink ears, a little mustache. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, again, won't show all the bits and bobs so you can have the pleasure of first uh, glances, but I'll give you some little peeks in there and like just, how fun is this? That's great. Oh, that's so cool. And then we have, I don't know if you could hear that, but that was Asimov. <laughs> whacking the boxes he was scratching. Uh, Cat Moth Crow 1, August 23. Ooh. Oh, goodness. I want to sneeze. Mm. We're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Cat Moth Crow. Oh, this is so brilliant. And then we have, and I have to oh, cover this up. I'll just do it the easy way. Well, the easier way. Rather, so you can enjoy all the art rather than having to deal with my finger over things. So, just if you're new here, uh, even if it's a P.O. box, I will not show it unless you give me express permission to sit and say, it's a P.O. box and I'm okay with it being out there. So, <laughs> I covered up this one, but, oh, kitties! Love some cat enthusiasm. Love it. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> and again, A6 size. Oh, love, love. What you hold in your hand is the first issue of Cat Moth Crow. The zine formerly known as Hegwitch, then formerly known as Pocky. Uh, I might be saying that wrong. P O -C, C I. My return to writing a Persian after spending the past few years pivoting towards other forms. I know it is time to change names, try on a new per Persian identity when the old back issues start to feel as though they were written by someone else. My old exosilicon has been shed and here I am, soft green and new. I love that because I have um, Don't Call Me Cupcake and it does feel like I was um, making copies of them for a restock and I, I was reading over them a few pieces here and there and it's like the 
it's really like it feels so long ago it feels so different so I love that I mean talk about the <laughs> I mean talk about the right timing oh it's beautiful beautiful you have all the images oh my goodness I mean just look it's gorgeous like everything I love about Perzines Oh, slow down and breathe. You're doing great. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Like, I just have to have a little bit of ramble. Um, like I've said multiple times that like there are so many times when zines arrive or when I get to, cause I, I have quite the backlog as far as reviews go. So uh, they arrive, but I don't usually read them straight away. Like read them entirely straight away. Um, but yeah, whether it's when they arrive or when I read them in their entirety, like I feel like there are times when zines just have the right timing for me, like what I need to hear or what I need to read, that sort of thing. And like, I needed that because I was looking at Don't Call Me Cupcake and I do love them and I do want to make a Persine series again, but I'm just like, I'm not quite that person anymore. So yes. Thank you. That's brilliant. I needed that. I really did. Ah, oh, that's the top, <laughs> top five weaker than songs to cry to. Ooh, okay. I have, I don't know if I've ever heard of weaker than, but I'm not good at remembering band names and stuff like that. So things to check out. Cool. I like it. Oh, and another QR code, all the songs. That's so cool. I love that we can do QR codes now and be like, you can do this for further reading, further listening, further checking out. <laughs> and there's a comic in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Oh my goodness. So I won't show you all the things, but welcome back into Persine making. Welcome into the, the back to the Persine side of things. It's not like no, welcome back to zines because you've been making zines, but yes. Oh my goodness. Definitely need to hear that. Oh. <laughs> and then we have, and I think I actually watched this episode, Riding Roller Coasters with Vincent Price. <laughs> oh, what's his? Because, um, not, what's his name? Anyway. Vincent Price. I used to watch um, a lot of his movies, even though they were horror as a kid. Uh, yeah, great parenting. <clears throat> but yeah, and that voice, Vincent Price. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> so this scene was written by Dana Moff on July 2023 as part of their Roll for Zines video series. Their favorite roller coaster is the Powder Keg at Silver Dollar City. Cat Moth Crow. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Vincent Price. <laughs> American actor Vincent Price is best known for his work in horror movies. Mm -hmm. But did you know he was also a roller coaster enthusiast? Price loved a good thrill ride, or as he, uh, as he called them, roller coasters. I love that. I love that. And I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's just... I, I, oh, I love it. Anyway, and it opens up. Love a mini zine that opens up like there's a fun treasure inside. And the treasure inside is Vincent Price. Fun fact. So I'll give you one. Oh, Vincent was bi. I'm also bi. So this fun fact charms me. Oh, I'm bi too. <laughs> oh my goodness, me. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yay. Now I, I need to track down some Vincent Price movies again because I was watching, like, like watch the old black and white ones and it was always so intimidating. So mysterious. <laughs> Anyway, that's so cool. And I swear I watched that that episode so f even more fun because it's like I'm holding the zine that I watched made. So hello zine friends editing Nix here and I just wanted to let you know that in the next bit 
I like to talk with my hands a lot and I did not realize until later that there is a post box, uh, Dana's post box, on the back of the zine. Now I had a little look around and Dana does have their post box on their YouTube channel so it is advertised, it is out there and that's why I didn't, well, basically end up covering half the screen for a significant amount of time with a black box to cover up that post box. Now, I would have usually uh, covered it up, but yeah, just because it's already out there on the internet, I feel a bit more comfortable showing off a post box. Just in case you're wondering why I covered up one, not the other. <laughs> Very cool. And speaking of things that I watch being made, um, they recently put up a video about adding a little something something um, about various scenes and everything and making them but also how you can add your own because these aren't stickers baby <laughs> these are not stickers they are um like heat transfer um foil but you need a I think you need a laser jet to do it anyway again bits and bobs all the goodness this is hag witch Ooh, with the shiny stars so much fun I just realized I showed the post box all over the place. I'll see how I go. Editing. That's what editing is for after all. <laughs> anyway, so shiny. Cool. So in a little yellow cottage called Land of Cats and Honey, surrounded by sage and roses, lives a witch who is always brewing something, maybe a potion, but most likely just coffee, spinning spells and records from reading tarot by candlelight. Hi, my name is Dana. I am that witch. <laughs> oh, what an introduction. Oh, fun. Hag witch. Specifically, I'm a hag witch. I coined that title to put a pin in my specific self-directed and envisioned form of the craft, a solitary secular practice involving extremely personal and specific ritual work around the home and garden. Ooh, this is so cool. <laughs> hag, hag witch is my easy one word answer to the myriad of questions folks usually have when you tell them you're, you practice witchcraft. Are you Wiccan? No. So you're not peg so you're pagan? Nope, unless you mean it in the sense that I'm not religious, which then sure. But I worship no deity. I'm a hag witch. Oh goodness, this is so cool. Then we have like okay, so <laughs> I'm trying to do anything aside because I've been so excited reading it. Oh my goodness. Hag witch. And then we get on to Alter craft, gardening on a dime, ooh, bake bread, clear head. Oh, <laughs> I think if I were like, if I were to like identify, I like sigils and I like spell work, um, but like baking, like kitchen witch, that'd be me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's a there so there's a recipe for not only will this spell help rise buried thoughts and anxious feelings to the surface, but you'll also end up with a tasty loaf of homemade bread to enjoy at the end of the, it all. A real win-win. Mm, definitely. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then small spells, tarot. Oh goodness me. Spell jars. Ooh, I haven't gotten into spell jars. I've done one spell jar, but I want to do more. And I'm sorry if you can hear, hear my stomach rumbling. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. I love every bitty bit of it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Data, for trading with me, for writing a lovely note, for all the fun zines, and just, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. 
Thank you, Midnicees. Thank you, Wombat Wisdoms. And thank you, oh, what lovely zines. Please, please, please like, go to the Bits and Bobs. Check out the links and everything. Connect, trade, do all the things. Because that's why I'm here, so you all can discover each other and I mean obviously so I can discover you too and like and like trade and enjoy the zines and pet the zines and go ooh shiny <laughs> love it anyway so that's me this week um I'll be back next week I'm still doing a bit of a male catch up of things like that so yeah thank you so much for all your patience and understanding and all that good stuff so until next time <laughs> enjoy zines enjoy zines enjoy making them enjoy sending them and trading them and showing them and reading them and embedding them and and all of the things <laughs> and until next time make some scenes send some mail remember that you're you, you're okay you're doing okay you're gonna be okay it's, it's like you are not alone and spread a little sunshine You all are so inspiring, really, like <laughs> the urge to put down their zine, well the urge to just sit and read the zine on camera is strong, but then the ur also the urge to put down the zine and go start making a zine is strong too. The the, the creativity, the, the words, the, how you express things and, and just colors and shapes and, and choices and type fonts and like everything, everything. I love it and I love all the different ways zines are created. It's very, very, very inspiring and yeah. I'm just happy I get to like like hold hold the zines and show them and, and stuff. Even if sometimes I do kind of zone out and like read the zines, so. 